Hi there, it's Kristen from Critters Ramblings, and I'm coming to you late on a Saturday night, even though I'm posting this tomorrow on Sunday. I just got back from New York, so I'm gonna shoot this, unpack, and uh, do some stuff around the house, but I wanted to share what I got over the last two weeks. I didn't want to try to make it three weeks. So, um, I got a ton for review and a few for swap, so let me start out. And I may not have grabbed all of them that are down um, in the post, so there are links to Goodreads, but it's been crazy, so I hope I grabbed them all. So let me start by the ones I got for swap. I got Killer Summer by Linda Kernan. It's a red dress ink book. And The Anglophile by Lori Gwen Shapiro. This one's a little beat up a little bit. And then I got Baby Needs a New Pair of Shoes by Lauren Barrett's Logstead. Is that right? I think so. Um, so those are the ones I got for uh, swap, and so those are all Red Dress Ink books. And then the rest are for review, and it's kind of nuts. One day I got one package and it had four books in it, so very exciting. So I got Saturday Night Widows by Becky Aikman. Aikman? Looks really good. And then this isn't the cover, this is the art cover. It's um, a sad art cover. It's A Land More Kind Than Home by Wiley Cash. And I believe this is set in North Carolina. And I was really excited about that because I used to live in Charlotte for a few years. So I love to read a book that's set in North Carolina. And um, I got this book and I actually had already read the ebook, but I'm so keeping it because I love the cover. The book was okay, but the cover is just, it's worth framing. So I got Vanity Fair by Megan Caldwell. So absolutely love it. Um, book was good. Um, cover's better. So yeah, so I got this one in the mail. And then my mom got this one, I think the day before I got mine, and she called me so giddy and excited. So if she wants to read it, I absolutely want to read it. It's The Promise of Stardust by Priscilla Sibley. Priscilla Sibley? Um, it looks really good. It looks really good. So, And I think this is the final cover. I know this is the art cover, but I'm pretty sure this is the final cover. And then I got this one today, and I'm actually reviewing it in January. And when I got the... No, ma'am. Sorry, Charlotte's play with books. Um, when I got the email, I got really excited about it. Um, I sometimes read some really random nonfiction. I definitely read memoirs and stuff like that. But this one just sounded really, really good. It's called Friendfluence. And it's about the way your friends influence who you are. And, um... It's by Karen, Carlin, Carlin Flora. Yeah, Carlin Flora. And I actually sent her questions, so I should be reviewing this January 14th. And my interview with her is on the 15th. And um, so I'm really excited about it. It looks so good. So this is the arc, but I think this is also the final cover, which I absolutely love because I've always been taught you may have friends that are here just for a season. So I like that it's like leaves colored change for each season maybe I don't know maybe I'm reading it too much into it I'm not sure but I'm really excited about this I'm starting this book tonight I'm like really really glad I got it because um yeah it's supposed to be really good so and then I got The Intercept by Dick Wolf which looks really good and then I'm really excited about this one and it came with a little extra doodad so not only did I get the book and I'm really excited about it but I also got a doodad with it. So I got all the lonely people and it has all these gloves or mittens and tucked in the book was a little mitten. So super cute. And then a card with even more mittens. So super cute. So yeah, so um, I'm really excited about this and I, um, I'm not sure when I'm reading this book. I think this is January also. Um, yeah, so yeah, super cute. So the little mittens, ooh, backwards, the little mittens, so I'm really excited about that one. And then this one I got, and I had no clue it was coming, and I had seen it online, like, the day before, and I got really excited when I got it. So it's Why by Marjorie Salona, Colona, Salona, looks really good. I believe it's YA, so um, I'll probably read it and pass it on to Mom, because she loves YA. Um... And then I got 
Mary Hagen Clark's Footprints in the Sand. This looks really good. And I don't remember when this one's coming out. This is an ARC also. January. Except that totally looks like a good summer cover. So, ah, I'll have to read it, but it looks like such a good summer cover. And then, oh, I got so excited when I got the next two. These next two were totally on my wish list. So when I got them, I was like, um, House Girl by Tara Conklin. I totally had no clue that I was getting this one. So I'm really excited. It looks like a really good one for like winter. Yeah, so that one. And then this next one I was real excited too. And it's called The Darlings. Looks really good by Christina Alger. I really like the cover. And then the next two, so the next two I got a BEA. And I know I didn't do a complete BEA video, so I've actually been adding them in kind of um, a little bit. And my mom finished these two, and so they're on my review pile because I got them at BEA, but I wanted to share them. So we got, I've got Dorothy Benton Frank Porch Lights, which looks really good. And then Wife 22 by Melanie Gideon. And so my mom will be reviewing these, or sh I think they're in the next week or the next week after that, at um, Opie's Opinions. That's O-P-E-S Opinions.com. Um, so she'll be reviewing these two. I know she's doing Wife 22 either this week or next week. So um, check out what she thinks before I read it. I don't, I won't, re I won't read her review because I don't want to ruin. So anyways, um, that is what I got over the last two weeks. Um, so I went to Random House Open House yesterday, if yesterday was Friday. And um, so I'm going to have a whole post on that on Wednesday, which is usually Wordless Wednesday, but my Wednesday is going to be very wordy. So I'm working on that post. Um, and we did a ton of other New York things while we were there, because we were there Wednesday through today. So um, that was a lot of fun. So glad to be back. Um, so it's back in the holiday gear to wrap and things. So... Hope you guys are having fun getting ready for the holidays and buying books for not only yourself and your friends and family. And happy reading!